Hello everyone, we are solving problems on the Thevenin's and Norton's theorem. In that, next question is, if 12 1 ohm resistors form a sides of a cube, then find the equivalent resistance between two diagonally opposite nodes of a cube. This is the cube. So, 12 1 ohm resistors are form a sides of a cube. Then, he is asking find equivalent resistance between diagonally opposite nodes. Okay, diagonally opposite nodes means this node to this node or this node to this node or this node to this node or this node to this node from this node to this node connect one external voltage source let it be v due to this voltage source current i is flowing through this cube due to this external voltage source current i is flowing through this source sorry, network how much current is entering to the network that much current must be leave from the network to satisfy KCL how much current is entering to the network that much current must be leave from the network if you observe here this is 1 ohm here he ha here we have three paths three paths and each path having 1 ohm so current is equally divided so here current is I so it is I by 3 and here it is I by 3 and here it is i by 3 coming to this node here we have two paths and two paths have same resistance so here current is equally divided but here current is i by 3 so i by 3 means here i by 6 again it is i by 6 coming to this node again here we have two paths and two paths have same resistance so here it is i by 6 and it is i by 6 here again same this is i by 6 this is i by 6 coming to this node so this is i by 6 and this is i by 6 and this is by kcl how much we are getting i by 3 coming to this node this is i by 6 this is i by 6 so how much current is flowing i by 3 here this is i by 6 this is i by 6 so here it is i by 3 this is i by 3 this is i by 3 this is i by 3 so by kcl i is equal to i by 3 plus i by 3 plus i by 3 you will get i now apply kvl for this loop apply kvl for this loop so here what is source source is equal to here the voltage is drop like this because current is entered this terminal of resistance so it is positive i by 3 into 1 plus coming to this element here again voltage is drop like this i by 6 into 1 again coming to here i by 3 into 1 so v is equal to here 6 this is 2i plus i plus 2i so what is resistance resistance r is equal to v by i is equal to 5 by 6 ohms next question is in the following network all resistor values are r then find the equivalent resistance between a and b terminals this is the given network all resistor values are R. Okay. So here R, 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 R. All resistor values are R. Then he is asking find equivalent resistance between these two terminals. So connect one external voltage source here. If you connect one external source, so current I is flowing through this network. So current I is flowing through this network. How much current is entering to this network? that much current must leaves from this network that means here this is i if you observe here coming to this node the current entering to this node is i and if we find four equal resistance paths okay so this is i by 4 current is equally divided i by 4 and this is i by 4 and this is i by 4 in all paths i by 4 Coming to this path, coming to this node, here we have four paths again, here we have four paths, so 
this current is going current must enter to this nodes from the all paths so this is i by 4 and this is i by 4 and this is i by 4 and this is i by 4 so if you observe this this is voltage source apply kvl for this loop apply kvl for this loop so what we are getting sources is equal to for this i by 4 okay it is plus it is minus because current is enter here here also current is enter here this is i by 4 plus minus by kvl v equal to i by 4 into r plus for this branch for this branch for this branch i by 4 into r this is v is equal to i into 2r by 4 so v by i is equal to sorry v by i is equal to r by 2 with this thevenin's and norton's theorem completed next we will start substitution theorem thank you for watching